finishing here, figure eight. We'll put the figure eights right at the end of the sheet. So, covering off, once again, the jib. We have all the parts of the sail. We have the leading edge, which is the fluff. We have the bottom of the sail, which is called the foot. And we have the trailing edge, which is called the leech. We have the point to put down here, which is called the tack. We have the bit that jib sheets go onto as being the clue. And up the top, we have the head of the sail. But once again, these are all in your book, so reinforced by reading. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the head of the main to the head, and we're going to hoist the main. See the bolt rope of the main, this leading edge here, which is a rope sewn in, um, up the mast track, while I pull up the main head. I'll do it nice and gently so Caroline can feed it in. And up she goes. Now, this is very hard to do in a wind if you're not head to wind. So, the boat must be in the wind. get at the halyard so I'm just going to loosely sort that and that will just jam down the slot there. Next we're going to do, we're going to put the boom on. Now the boom goes onto the, uh, this pin here which is called the gooseneck. Okay. The, um, the boom slots onto the gooseneck like that. Once again, the boom has a similar lug like the main does. It slides down there and down to the end of the wall. Tension this according to the breeze we've got here today. We want a nice little bit of shape in it, so we don't want to pull it too tight. We want to leave a bit of shape in it, and you'll learn why and how about all the shapes of sails a little bit later in the course. So, we're going to tighten that off with a couple of hitches, all right? So, we don't have tails of rope popping around. Next thing, all our back down is our cunning miser. That thing is tied on to the gooseneck. It comes through that eye and down through this, yet another kind of cleat. So we've done our horn cleats, we've done our cam cleats, now we have our jam cleats. Pull that down, as you can see, that tensions the leading edge of the sail or the luff of the sail. And once again, we're just going to do the right and that. Every on the yacht, we'll have a knot in the end because the last thing we want is for it to run through when we don't want it to. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the main sheet on. The main sheet is what controls the in and out movement of the boom. Now, we start with our main sheet on the block here, which has a becket on it, and once again we're using a bow line. Now, I'm going to get Caroline to do this, we're going to feed it up. Through the block, down through the centre block, up through the double block again, and then through what's called a ratchet block. The ratchet blocks are a one-way rotating block, and they will 
rotate that way, so the rope will go through that way, but it tends to then lock off. So when you're holding it under pressure while you're sailing, it's not so hard to hold. Okay, you have to get through the right way, otherwise it will work against you. And then once again, we'll put a knot in the middle. Caroline, if you'd like to hold that, I will hold the boom for Caroline. When you're in the boat, always keep your head low and keep away from the boom. Don't try and inhibit the sails too much, or the boat will just blow over. So we're trying to move, setting this up so that it all runs nicely and the sheet doesn't get crossed over. Whilst our bottom block has got some rotation in it, don't rotate the lot, so uh, through this one here, through that there, yep. Back up to the other side of the double. Back up to the other side of that double, and then through our ratchet block. Yep, that way, so then bring the straps back to the front, and through our ratchet block. And there we have our main ship. Okay, so yeah. okay, so with our main ship set, this is how it works. As, as you see, we pull it in, our sail sets. Okay, so we now have a nice gap between the two sails and what we're going to cover in our next session will be the angle of the sails in relation to the wind. So now we're just going to finish quickly rigging the rest of the boat. There's a couple of other items we need to put on. This one here is called a boom van. And simply clip on there. It's tension down here with a lock and a little jam plate. What that does when the breeze is on it stops the boom from lifting up on that sort of an angle. Okay, so it holds the boom down. The next important thing to put on, of course, is what we're going to steer with, our rudder. So, we have our rudder per se, we have our rudder blade, and we have our tiller, and we have our tiller extension. In the first two to three weeks of this course, you will not be using the tiller extension, you will just be using the tiller. So, the rudder has to be held on, so it stays on when this boat is upright. Conversely, as you come in on shallow water, of course they have to start coming up. So as we, what you're going to learn as we launch and retrieve boats is that things have to come up, things have to go down, right, depending on the depth of the water. And of course these things hang under the water, which can be damaged if we hit rocks and little rock knolls around there. So that's the basics of rigging the boat and some of the major parts of the boat. Read your book and reinforce what I've just told you.